Okay, so in order to use the TI-84 plus calculator to get you an XY table to let it be able to build what you need it to, um, you've got to be able to have a, a few basic math skills, and I would not recommend skipping over um, being able to do it without the calculator because you, you can only have the calculator do what you tell it to do. Um, if you have a standard form equation, um, you don't normally need to convert it when you're doing it on paper. Uh, to slope intercept, but for a TI-84 calculator, you need it to be in slope intercept, and so you've got to go ahead and get that Y all by itself. So here's the slope intercept equation, and again, why do we have to do it? Because your calculator doesn't know how to handle the standard uh, form equation. It can only handle the slope intercept. So you've got to take these standard forms and put it in the slope intercept. After you do that, then it's all going to the calculator, okay? So um, the, the next thing that, that uh, we would do is literally pull up our calculator right here, turn it on, and the first thing I want you to do is I want you to just click on this Y equals button right here, okay? And let me go ahead and uh, get a uh, detached LCD screen up here. That way it's just a little bit bigger. There we go. So anything that's happening on my calculator right here, it's a little bit bigger for you to see. Now this Y1 field, um, well, let's just go ahead and put it back here so we can see it a little bit better. This Y1 field is basically it's saying, hey, this is your first equation that you can put in. And you can type in a lot of different equations. You know, you can scroll down and you can get up to, I think it's 10 equations. Yeah, 10 different equations. And, and they number them that way. We'll always use the Y1 field and make sure that everything else is cleared out on there. If, if something was, was sitting there, you know, what you would need to do is just like highlight the field and then just hit clear to make it go away. Now, since this equation right here has a fraction for the slope, go ahead and use your same fraction box you're used to. Hit the alpha key and then the Y equals, and this pulls up the menu for your fraction box. Type in your fraction, negative one half, and click out of it, okay? Click to the right so that way your box is is sitting out here beside it. Now you see we need to type in X. There's a special key on the calculator. It's right next to the alpha key. It's X right there. Hit this one right here. It's X, T, theta, N. This key right here um, lets you be able to type in X when you need it. And then plus six. So there you go. You've typed in this equation to your calculator. The next thing that we need to do um, is basically hit the, the second key and then window. Second and window. And that brings us to the table setup question, uh, window right here. And if you notice, right above window in blue, it's TBLSET. That stands for table setup, so that's an easy way for you to remember it. Um, bring your, your cursor to highlight this ask under independent. Just bring it down to ask, and this will help you out there. So just scroll down to where it starts hitting auto and then to the right. And then to select it, choose enter. Now, after that, all that we have to do is hit second and table. And here is our table right there. Um, if you want the X to be a zero, type in zero right now and you'll see it sitting right here at zero and then hit enter. And instantly you will see that six popped up. Why? Because zero times negative one half is um, zero and zero plus six is six. And so it's instantly telling you that your Y value is six. And now you can type in any other values that you want. One for X, that gets you 11 halves or 11 over 2. Type in 2 and you get 5. 3 and you get 9 halves. Type in 4, you get 4. Type in negative 55, we get 67 over 2. Type in negative 54, 33. You see what I'm saying? And then you can always come up here and over type, you know, you can type over like this is 25 right there. Um, if you ever want to clear it out, just highlight what you want and hit clear. Or actually hit delete, I'm sorry, just hit delete, and that clears out this whole table for you. Um, so let's go through and let's just do one other equation here real quick. Um, to get back to your home screen where you do your normal math, hit blue and quit, or blue and mode right here, and there's your home screen. And let's just go over what we need to do. The first time that you go to set this calculator up, for this you need to type in your equation. So your y equals is where your equation's at, and you can hit clear and type it in. Let's just type in 2x plus 5. Now, the next thing is, is always check your table setup. So hit blue or second and window. Make sure that it's always on ask for independent. If it's not, you just scroll down and click on ask. 
and now you go straight over to your graph right there and you can type in anything you want. So again, how can we do it? Go back to your home screen, type in y equals, hit clear to make sure that your, your equations are gone, type in a different equation, 5x plus 2, double check your table setup because someone might have been using your calculator before, make sure it's on ask for auto, dependent should be on auto and usually the zeros um, you know, for, for setups right there. And then the second table.